Because we've not taken note of the environment until we are hit by a disaster at this time of the year. And it's still raining cats yes. and dogs. <laughs> no, let's put it this way. It's raining butterfly elephants. <laughs> Welcome to Energy Quest. We have with us today uh, Mr. Francis Kujoji. Right. That's right. Yes, so Francis is a GM at Kantanka Motors. And he has a lot to teach us. We have a lot to learn from him today. Kantanka has been in this market forever. I mean, when, when, when we have to talk about um, automobiles in the indigenous sense in Ghana, we talk Kantanka. I mean, one of the very known in Africa to have taken a foot forward before that industry thought of much manufacturing in Africa, right? So, um, welcome, Francis, Thank to you. Energy Quest. We are very happy you're joining us today. Um, our interest more has been in your new space, in your electric vehicles, okay, because that's the new trend now because we are interested in the sustainability aspect of it. We are very interested in the environment, yes, and then the opportunities that it's going to create for the youth. But before we actually delve into it, just tell us a little more about Kantanka. We, we hear too many things. I mean, some are hearsay, some are, <laughs> today we are in your house. <laughs> yes. So tell us a little bit about how Kantanka began and what the business is now. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity. Um, Kantanka, as we all know, uh, is the brainchild of Apostle Dr. Kuesafo. Yeah. Now, he started it about 25 years ago, wow. especially with the automotive section, by manufacturing vehicle components. Okay. And then assembling them for to uh, the CBU stage. This is about 75% of the components are manufactured in house. Okay. The whole body was molded in house. Wow. Because it was like uh, the first, second, and then the third SUVs were rolled out. That was up to 2007. And from then, people started asking for commercialization. Where can we get the cars to buy? When are we going to get the cars to buy? Mm -hmm. And that was what brought about the commercialization of Kantanka Automobile. Okay. Where we started in 2012, putting things together, mm -hmm. looking for collaborators industrially so that we were able to outsource some of the parts that we cannot or we are not able to manufacture here now, mm -hmm. put them together and have complete built units okay. for commercial purposes. So it was then that he composed the team. Mm -hmm. And then I have to lead the team in uh, research of how we are going to get partners mm -hmm so that we have uh, an assembly plant that can even manufacture one car a week. Okay. So in a week, if we, if, if we assemble one, in a month it's going to be four or five. Four cars, yeah. So in a year, at least, we'll be able to sell about 36 or more, between 36 okay. 50 cars in a year. Okay. So if we start with that, then we'll build up from there to whichever stage that we want to get to. Okay. That is in brief the you know starting point of Kantanka. So uh, as, as at twenty twenty three, um, what's the average annual? What's, what's the max you have done? Um, how many cars in a year since you commercialized? Uh, we've done over five hundred cars as we speak now. Oh wow! Yes. Wow! All being used in Ghana. All being used in Ghana. Are you doing some, any exports? Uh, we did some exports. Okay. To. Liberia and Norway. And Norway. Yeah, so it means we've broken into <laughs> yes, the Europe. European market. And Norway. Yes. Okay. And how did that go? It was it was it was easy 
and not easy as such of course, because I mean. entering into that market there is what we call certificate of conformity mm -hmm. and that certificate of conformity has to originate from Ghana mm -hmm. so we got the order we did the packaging Magdan shipped it and when we go to Oslo Norwegian customs were requesting for certificate of conformity before they will allow the car to enter into the country. Okay. So in collaboration with the Ghana Standards Authority, they came here. We had uh, some, of the, the, some of the the car that we exported over Similar there. Similar ones, yeah. So we did the necessary documentations on the car. The certificate was approved by the GSA and was sent to Norway wow. and the car was cleared. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. Yes. Thank Making you. Making cars in Ghana. Moving on the streets of Norway. Yes. That's huge. Yes. Yeah, that's, good. That, that's really good. Okay. So, so these cars are still there. They are I still mean, there. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. That. I mean, that, that, that's beautiful. <laughs> okay. So um, now the market is mainly here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you have any government entities using Kantanka cars? Yes. Okay. The okay. bigger and then the most renowned government office is the office mm -hmm. of president. Yes. And they are using most of our cars. Okay. Most of our pickups. Okay. okay. I mean, that attests to the fact that this is real and yes. we are delivering good cars. Yes. So That's another way of marketing, the endorsement approach. Mm -hmm. Once it's been endorsed by the highest office in the country, exactly. then it means why not? Then it's we, user we friendly. can all jump in now. Yes. <laughs> okay. 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 So, when did you begin the electric vehicle line? The electric vehicles we've prototyped. We've done first prototype. I think about ten years ago. Ten. Yes. Okay. When it was in the VIN the news globally. Okay. Ten years yes. ago. Okay. okay. We rolled okay. we rolled out the first EV in I think 2012, 2013, there about. Hmm. And then the following year, it was a two seater. Okay. And then the following year, we did a five seater. Okay. And then uh, by 2014, 15, we did a seven seater uh, SUV type. SUV? SUV type EV. Kantaka is doing amazing. You, 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 I don't think you're playing the drums loud enough yes. and blowing the trumpets. Yes, but then the issue of lithium-ion batteries were not so common and popular. Okay. So we use about 12 batteries on one car. Okay. And then it worked all right. Okay. Because the power of the 12 can now be compounded into one. Yeah. And that was how we started it. And gradually, I mean, you modernized. We modernized we put it all in. until we've got into this stage. Hmm. And with that's, this... That, that's a beautiful part. Yes. And with this one, we're still, you know, researching. Mm -hmm. We want to make the cost very... Low. And low. Low. And affordable quality car yes. as well because efficiency is um, very efficient. important. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, when we rolled over the the modern one that we've done so far, mm -hmm. the maximum speed is sixty kilometers. Okay. And the battery running time is three hours. Three hours. Okay. On, on it. So after every three hours, you have to recharge. Yeah, to Recharging recharge. time is about eight hours. Oh. So okay. we've realized that there are a lot that we have to work on. Yes, yes. yes. So we've improvised the solar panels mm -hmm. on to the body to generate more energy to the battery whilst running. Oh, so you have solar panels on the yes, car? Yes, yes. Okay, okay. So this technology has reduced the, you know, has taken care of the battery charging. Mm -hmm. And now it can run, it can charge whilst running. Beautiful. 
mm -hmm. and it's still, we, we, we've, we've, we've piloted it, it worked all right. Mm -hmm. Now, like we started from the beginning, we have to move from that stage to the commercialization of the solar panel, the solar EV. Mm -hmm. And that is where we've got into now. And by the, we, we estimated at the very end of 2024, where Ghana will be hot by that time, in December <laughs> 7th. When Ghana will be hot, eh? Then we use the heat to power. We use it to cool down the heat in Ghana. Yeah. And then yeah. when the politicians are talking about who, who has won the election, we will come we'll, out with a car we'll, to we'll, soften we'll make, we'll the noise. The yes. of the heat. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So that means that the solar powered ones. Um, is it dual? Is it does it only recharge on that sense, or you still plug in and then charge up? You can still plug in. Okay. And still use the solar panel, uh, solar so it's dual. charging system. It's dual. That's 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 really good. Mm -hmm. Then it's easy to use it for the commercial. Yes, that is yeah, what we are looking at. That is what we are looking at. Because at a time where, at a point in time where, where prices. Uh, unstable, skyrocketing. Yeah, yeah. It has been a very big challenge for us. And not for us alone, for Ghanaians and then yeah. the world in general. Mm -hmm. And that, is, that was when the idea of, you know, getting the dual, getting the dual charging system has come up. Oh, I, 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 think, I think it'll be very beneficial yeah. if we're able to commercialize mm -hmm. this. And then it it's hits the market. Yeah. It'll save us a lot. Exactly. Yeah. But the environmental sense of it, yes, tell us about that. Because it automatically means that you, you are contributing your quota to all our talk, all this um, so much conversations mm -hmm. going on about saving our air mm -hmm. and yeah, the environmental effects of yeah. our ice cars. I, I think that is very important because we've not taken note of the environment until we are hit by a disaster. Yeah. Look at what is happening now, the, at this time of the year. We are in October and it's still raining, cats yes. and dogs. No, <laughs> let's put it this way, it's raining butterfly elephants. <laughs> yeah. And the Volta, the, the VRA has opened their spillways and then mm -hmm. people, so the houses are up. flooding, which has never happened in October before. We experienced floods in June, July. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So until then, we will not think about the effect that we cause into the environment mm -hmm. with uh, ICEs and, and the fumes they are generating into the, yeah. uh, how do you call it, the, it is a solar system or whatever. Mm -hmm. So contributing to environmental issues is very, very important. And then with the advent of EVs, you know, the... Oh, the smoke, the fumes will be completely Reduced, out yeah. and we'll have a very friendly environment whilst using EVs. Yeah, so how are we of the view that since this has become a global challenge, we have to be part of it. Yeah. We don't have to sleep mm -hmm. until, the, until other jurisdictions has, have gotten to the highest then level. We and then we wake up and now start running. Yes. <laughs> You have to but go with them. You, you, you know the reason why um, lots of people worry and sit back on all the EV idea is because of the additional infrastructure that comes with it. So often they would question, if I buy this car, how am I going to charge it? If I buy this car, how am I going to service? How am I going to, you know, all the infrastructure that comes with it. Okay. So I want to know how Kantanka is contributing. Are you doing anything in terms of charging yes is, is yes anything. that uh, has been taken into consideration okay and it's a major concern for most ev users good that is why in the first place we have to think about the battery running time mm -hmm. the the efficiency of the battery the, the duration that the, it takes to recharge a battery yeah and then the battery charging time Okay. So that you don't spend eight hours charging a battery whilst you are, your battery runs down when you are going to Tamale or Kumasi or whatever. Road, yes. So it's something that we are very careful about. 
and we don't want to enter into the market and that one will be an issue. We'll, we'll pull back all yes. your hard work. So we are still considering how at least as a nation we can also manufacture certain components of the cars. That as well. Yeah. Okay. So we are collaborating with our industrial collaborators. Mm -hmm. We are researching. And then we've got into a stage where the battery charging time will be reduced and has reduced drastically okay. from the four, eight hours eight to hours. 20, 30 minutes. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, okay. But that's, that's a rapid charger. A rapid charger. Okay. So okay. users will have the option to mm -hmm. the rapid charger and then the normal charger, which takes eight a hours. A longer time. A longer time. I mean, that, that regular one, of course, it means you can do an overnight charging. Exactly. Yeah, but in the day, 20, 30, then at my then, lunch time, I should have been able to Then you are, you are gone. And that is what we are go. looking for now. We have the, we've, we've, bro we've broken through that technology. And like I said, next year will be EV. The EV year. Year. Yes. Kantanka for EV and EV for Kantanka hey, next year. Hey, we can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> You can't wait. For mm. me, I get very excited about yeah. it because we do a lot of work on sustainability, mm. on the promoting the whole idea of EV. So that's very exciting for us. You're looking forward to it. I'm sure 2024, you invite us to come back home definitely and have a do. feel of what's new. We will I definitely mean, do that. Yes. Yeah.